morning everyone, welcome to a brand new vlog. I have wet hair, obviously, just had a shower. So I'm just getting ready for a Sunday in the house. We have nothing to do today, which is just a godsend. And I thought I would kind of film a bit of a, an average day in the life of me in the house, I suppose. So I thought I'd kind of just show you everything I'm up to today, really. Like, average day, um, show you some like bits and bobs around the house, like little updates and things like that. My skin is so dry, I don't know what I've done, but I think I've over exfoliated my skin and it's just gone so dry and like peely and oh, it just feels oh, weird. Also halfway through my shower, the hot water decided to get to go. So I was um, halfway through shampooing and then the water just went freezing cold. So I was like, ah, <laughs> trying to get out the shower. So that kind of kicked off the morning. And I have also had an avo shake. So my avo, so one avo, one banana, some oats, oat milk shake this morning because we ran out of coffee. I made Alex a coffee in bed. I didn't have a coffee. I sacrificed my coffee for him. So I made myself an avo shake instead. So that's pretty much all you've missed so far. And then I was like, you know what? I want to film this video. So I'm sorry I didn't get it right from opening my eyes, but you'll get the rest of the day. Let's go upstairs. I just need to get myself looking a bit more presentable. Mm. Alex is editing the vlog. So Alex is editing our London Fashion Week, Paris Fashion, no, Mil Milan Fashion Week vlog. You like to sit here, don't you, and do the vlog stuff? It's like the nicest place in the house. It's nice and big and open and, I don't know, I just really like sitting there because if I want to get a snack, I yeah. don't go too far. And also it's near the coffee, if we had coffee beans. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> what are you looking at me for? But the rest of the kitchen's looking so nice and tidy and I am so happy, as is the utility room. Ooh, this bag. So, let me quickly show you this bag. Um, in Milan, I think you might have seen it actually in Milan, we went to Doina's place and she was having this, um, she was having a party and it's the um, official Del Poggio and No More Plastic collaboration bag with the bottle. I cannot wait to start using this in London. They so kindly sent me one that I didn't ask for one. They just saw me there, they saw me taking pictures of it and they wanted to send me one. So unbelievably kind. I'm really, really excited about this. There's the bottle actually over there. I'm just going to wash that and get that ready. Anyway, okay. Bye, babe. Yes, bye. Right, so dry my hair first. I just need to... Kind of lubricate my face in some way because it is dry as a flipping bone right now. Illumi AMD, my um, Illumini. I'm just gonna add my ultimate boost serum just for extra moisture, and then my acne balancing serum. This is just my everyday routine. At least my face isn't stinging now. Literally, the past few days, I've been washing my face and putting on my moisturizer, and it's like burn. <laughs> So I came home last night, we came home last night from Milan and I had, I did, there it is, because of how bad my face was, I used my absolute favourite, the La Mer Treatment Lotion, Treatment Lotion Hydrating Mask. These are unbelievable, by far my favourite face mask. They are also one of the most expensive face masks, obviously they're La Mer. But my god, do they work wonders. Like, I put it on, obviously my face was kind of burning at first because it was so dry and it was so moisturising. Then after, like, 30 seconds, it was perfect. I just kept it on in the bath for, like, 20 minutes to sink in. And then I just added some, um, some oh, Le Mer moisturising cream over top. And a presto, today it is far better. That is my, uh... Recovery balm on top, which is on my everyday moisturizer. So, right, so my face is ready for the day. I'm just going to add some product into my hair. This is so run out. L'Oreal L Net Mousse. Tiny bit left. The Elvive oil. Just to the ends of my hair. Right, cool. So, I'm just going now to. I'm just gonna dry it with my Dyson. Supersonic, always. Okay, done. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna straighten it through it because it's looking just a bit big and bushy right now. Straight hair. 
Um, I've also put on some jeans because I felt a little bit undone. So I might just put on a little bit of makeup. I have something I need to film later. So technically I'm not taking the full day off, but I kind of see these days as days off when I'm not out the house or I'm not in another country. It's very seldom that I take a full day off where I'm not doing anything. So because of that, I just need to go upstairs and put on some makeup so I can film another video, like my next video after this. So I'm gonna head into the closet and just do a little bit of, of makeup. Okay, so into the closet. <laughs> like, in honesty, if I was having like, if I was having a day at home editing or doing anything but filming, I most definitely wouldn't put on any makeup, that's for sure. But today, like I said, I've just got to do a few other things for other videos <laughs> coming up, which you'll probably see next, <laughs> the next video. Um, so I'm just going to like get a little bit more presentable because I just feel a little bit dull and pale to warm up my skin a little bit and then I'll just feel a little bit more me. I get a lot of questions, you know, from people asking me how I don't get too much makeup on my white tops and um, like my white jumpers like this. And I think the main reason is because I don't wear too much face products anyway. It's always like this light SPF thing that I wear or concealer. And also, if I know I'm wearing a roll neck, I don't take it all the way down my neck and I'll just sort of like make sure it goes over my chin a little bit. So actually, the roll neck doesn't really touch anywhere with makeup on. Like, if you would go down your neck with all of your bronzer, of course, it's going to get really, really dirty. Yeah, I find it's not too bad, actually, like this. If you're going to wear a roll neck, make sure that you know you're going to wear that roll neck before you put on all of your makeup, or else it is just going to go everywhere. So I'd definitely say that. Right, I'm really going to try this. I haven't tried it yet. Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. And this is what the illuminating one. I just felt like this was probably most me. It's like a goldy champagne coloured liquid. Yeah, it's just sort of setting down into the skin as a primer would. Um, with that kind of like stickiness. It's perfect for, as a base for makeup. And I can see that it's added some glow actually. I'll be honest, I'm not really a primer kind of girl. I don't use primers all that much because I have such dry skin anyway. That does look, well, it looks glowy. I can see my skin is like illuminated now. Hopefully you can kind of see that. It looks like quite illuminated. For some reason I was expecting this to have a little bit more colour in it. Just a tiny bit more, but maybe that's not what it's about. Um, but really nice though. Really, really nice if you're looking for a primer. Um, it just looks, it's kind of made my skin look quite smooth. And it's got a tackiness now that would be perfect for any foundation at the top. Yeah, I don't need to do much more on my face. I'm going to use a brand new Luminous Silk Concealer. I haven't used this yet. And I got given this the other day behind the scenes at the show. Which was very exciting. Coming away with a little gift. I've got this in shade 4. Because I usually go for 4 in Luminous Silk. So that's what... That's what I've got, I'm going to use a little easy brush. So I think the idea with this concealer is it's meant to be like the concealing sister of the Luminous Silk Foundation. It's still quite glowy and luminous on the skin, but what's given that slightly higher coverage. It doesn't help that my skin is currently flaking around this area because of, like I said, really, really, really dry skin right now so that is not helping me at all i mean i need to try that again properly when when my skin isn't coming off because it looks like a really nice shade for me actually for my under eyes cool i'm just going to get ready completely now off camera or else this is just going to take ages and i didn't want this to be a makeup tutorial so um yeah i'll be back so much better okay feeling myself now i feel like i'm properly ready to film this video as well i put you just here. Loads and loads of you have been asking me, by the way, about my bags. I mentioned a couple of weeks ago I was going to sell loads of my bags, and I have. I've managed to sell maybe seven or eight so far. I'm so sorry, guys. The Gucci Marmont has gone, and the other Gucci has gone. I get loads of messages about those. Um, I'm not selling any of my Chanel bags, because again, I get loads of people asking me about my Chanel bags. Not so many Chanel bags, but there are lots of other things that I am selling. And so the other week, I ended up going for a meeting with Vestiaire. So Vestiaire is an online site, it's also a mobile app. We can shop pre-loved pieces. In the past, 
I have. I managed to find this on Vestiaire a few years ago. I got this from Vestiaire and I still absolutely love it. And it is perfection. Like it was just like perfect condition. And I also got this little cutie on Vestiaire. The Dior Ever. Oh, this is a Dior Ever bag in the bright royal blue. So by the way, for complete transparency, this little section of the vlog is a paid for integrated advertorial with Vestiaire. Uh, mainly because um, I got chatting with those guys and I mentioned that I had loads of bags to sell. For example, I'm thinking of selling this little Valentino clutch bag with the holder that goes through the hand. It's like perfect condition. I think I'm gonna sell my Lanvan bag. Again, I put this onto my Instagram and I got so many people asking me about it, but no one in the end ended up taking this one. So I thought instead I'll stick it onto Vestia and see if someone else in the world might like it, someone that doesn't follow me, who obviously might like it. Again, this is like perfect condition. It's just got a light bit of scratching onto the gold, which is understandable. But otherwise it's literally like perfection. Just as an example, like, I think I'm also going to sell my little Fendi with the, it almost reminds me of a little owl, this one, but it's super cute and again it's in perf like perfect condition. It's just like even the inside is perfection. It's even got the card section like with the little cards in it the way it comes because I just barely wore this bag. So those are just a few ideas of what I'll be selling. So Vestia have just launched this new, so they've just updated their app, which I think is really super chic. And I'm gonna screen record it so I can show you exactly what I'm looking at here on screen. So they have a new feature now called the news feed. And when you click on that, it comes up with lots of different people who sell on Vestia and you can follow people now. So for example, whoever sold me this Louis Vuitton bag, or this Louis Vuitton bag, and I could now follow them, and then obviously if there's someone who collects a lot of items and then sells them later, then they could be an amazing person to follow because later on they may be selling another amazing bag that I couldn't get hold of, etc. So when you go onto the news feed, it will show you a few different people. Um, you can look at their profiles. You can obviously find the people that you follow already and see what they've recently listed. But they also suggest different profiles to you depending on what you've bought before or maybe what you've sold before. So I've just been suggested a, a store that sells loads of Dior shoes. I mean, this is a really good recommendation because that's what I like. Best thing to do would be download the Vestier app um, create your own profile, start following people. It's just a much more sustainable way to shop as well now. I feel I'm seeing so many more people shopping pre-loved, uh, design items, vintage items, just as a way of not buying so many brand new things, which I think is really commendable and just such a fantastic way of moving forward. So I too am following a number of different stores in Vestiaire, just in case I find any of my favourite bags that come up. So someone called Chloe, someone called Gaia, someone called Bastien, someone called Sarah. They all just have really, really cool styles and they've listed quite a lot of things that I really, really like. And you'll also get alerts if they do like a price drop or if they list something new, you'll get alerts first. So you're kind of like ahead of the game. So you can set up alerts on different items. So for example, if someone is selling something that you really, really like, you can just set up an alert on it. Oh my gosh, this Lady Dior handbag is amazing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so when you're on, so for example, this Lady Dior handbag, you can create an alert. So it's asking me here for like what model of bag I want. So for example, I'd probably just put on Lady Dior. So any date Lady Dior, anything in black or also blue or blue. And then you can choose how to receive that alert. So whether that's by email or by text. And then you save the alert. And then I'll know then in future if any other Lady Dior's come up in black, in a certain material, etc. Because the amount of times that I've missed amazing bags because I've, I've been a couple of hours late, so that's such a nice way of using it. And for any of you guys as well who are in London, Vestia also has their own permanent boutique inside of Selfridges, which is amazing if you do want to go along and have a look at any new pieces that they may have because they'll have a lot of their most beautiful things in the boutique. So quite often if you're looking for an Hermes bag, chances are you may find one there. <laughs> 
Okay, my camera is literally about to die. So I am gonna go downstairs and hopefully make me and Alex some food because it is lunchtime. We barely have anything in the house. So I'm making us um, Naked Glory sausage butties with a side of beans because that's all we have in the house. And because like I told you, I was a wonderful wife this morning and let Alex have the final coffee in the machine, I'm instead gonna make myself a hot chocolate instead. And I love this one, this Twinings Swiss chocolate drink. It is delicious. Um, it's all soy, it is dairy free. And I'm gonna have that with my favorite Oatly barista the best. I really want to invest in this company because it's just, I probably buy the most of everyone. <laughs> it's the best. Um, I'm just going to use my, uh, in case anyone wants to remember, God, it needs a bit of a clean this. Our Siemens is just the best machine. It's awesome. So this is what I'm using. Halfway through an episode of Sex Education because we are obsessed right now. We're up to season two, episode six. Maybe. Hot chocolate was also fabulous. Um, so now, oh, I'm gonna sit in the lounge again because it's quite nice. So the one thing I'm super excited about covering soon on the vlogs is our hallway transformation. It's like one of the biggest areas in the house and it's the one that I haven't tackled yet because I was trying to get all the other rooms done first so that when obviously we're bringing furniture through the hallway, etc., the hallway wouldn't get smashed and, and chipped and whatnot. There'd be no point in doing the hallway first. So that's why it's been like the last project. We're almost kind of finished with the house. We're about 85% done. I've pretty much renovated every single room. I still have like two bathrooms to do. They'll likely come a little bit later. But the hallway is like the big, big, big project. And it's the one I'm most excited about because it's... I mean, it's huge and there's so much that's going to be happening. Like, it's a full paint job. It's um, new carpets, new runners, panelling everywhere, brand new lighting, new coving and cornice is going in, a brand new fireplace. That's a massive one. I'm getting that fitted, like, in a couple of weeks. So that'll massively transform it. And then the flooring needs to go down. I'm having underfloor heating. And then I want that flooring to go all the way into the downstairs toilet as well so that's why I've been putting off getting that finished so that everything can kind of be done at the same time so it's an absolutely enormous job and it's just been trying to get my head around it it's been a lot but I'm kind of getting there now we've we've got some of the staircases been painted and like I said I've paid for the fireplace that's on its way soon so I can start to show you these renovations as they happen there's actually nothing to show you yet so there's no point me kind of showing you but it's it's coming and like I'm super excited to show you because I think it's gonna it's gonna completely transform the whole house. Like at the moment it's so nice that most of the rooms are done, but then you've got to walk through the hallway to get from A to B and I just hate the hallway so much. It's just um it's just very cold and very dull and just it just needs a lot of work. So I can't wait to show you that. Um, but there's probably a few other things around the house that I've not shown you in a little while that I can show you, just as like a few little updates. I'm trying to think what I have or haven't shown you so far. Like, have you seen my blinds? I've shown you my new blinds in the, in the living room and my brand new curtains. They just look so pretty and they just finish off this whole room. Um, Oh, I've ordered as well. I've also ordered an amazing set of artwork. So just in here on that wall. So on this wall here, we have this big print. Then on this wall here, I have commissioned two pieces of artwork from a New Zealand artist. And she works with wool. And it's like a fully stitched piece. Well, both of them are both stitched in wool, in colourful wools. And I just happened to find her on Instagram. I was on my throw home account and I was looking through my feed and someone had one of her pieces of artwork on their wall and I was like, where is this from? Found her and she just makes the most amazing commissionable pieces. So I have bought two of her pieces that are on, way, on the way. She's called Jane Denton Art, I believe. Yeah, Jane Denton Art. She's got a really beautiful profile as well, but it's just this very geometric shape, all made in wool. It's my kind of thing to a T. I'm really into shapes and ge geometry in 
um, in artwork. So they are on their way soon. She's just finishing up the artwork. She's been sending me a few little snippets of them. But I'm having two two landscape pieces that she's making and then after that this room is entirely done i keep saying this room is almost done but it literally will be as soon as that is is in there um and i couldn't i couldn't be happier with it i'm just so so thrilled with this room i don't spend anywhere near as much time in here as i should mainly because i'm quite often just in my bedroom chilling on the bed or i'm in the kitchen and we're on the island so we don't spend as much time in here because we don't watch tv like we've got this massive tv and we just don't watch tv so um but i intend to try and spend a bit more time in here because i do absolutely love it and then it'll be completely completely finished and i'm so 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 happy with it in here and then into the gym we finally have our flooring down it's looking a bit messy already because of the d dirty footprints on it but this was so easy to do guys if any of you if any of you are after putting in like a home gym in your house th this was literally like they're just big meter pieces and they're just jigsaw and you just push them all together and then you get the the side bits that kind of like ramp down so we've just kind of put them all in this little corner bit here because we're waiting on yeah, i don't know if i've mentioned actually we're waiting on like a treadmill cable machine we've got loads of weights coming dumbbells i need to I still need to buy a spin bike but i need to buy a spin bike as well Oh yeah, and then like a weight rack, so like a big Olympic weight rack. Um, it's it's been somewhat pricey, but we just want we've just always wanted our own gym in the house, somewhere we can come to and actually work out and just feel a little bit more healthy again because I've just been feeling so horrible about myself in terms of how low energy I feel and I've just not been working out for months and months and months, like eight months. I've not worked out. I just feel really really rubbish so we're really excited about it we've also had we've had the lights put in now which i feel works so well just nice up lighters that match with these up here so it's just looking lovely and bright and quite scandy vibes in here and we also just need to get mirrors all the mirrors need putting in here as well and then it'll be feeling much much better in here overall and um, i mean it's a bit of a mess at the moment i've got all my yoga stuff we're just kind of thrown it in here and alex has been using it to do some working out so far i need to clean this up but you get the gist you get the gist this plant is definitely dying here in this corner oopsie but you get the overall gist of it and this is just the most perfectly I just love how perfect this wall is now. After we had our had our carpenter come in and put all of the panelling in, and then we had our painter finish it all off, make it all perfect, and then paint it. And this is Mizzle. Have, I feel like I've not shown you this before, have I? Maybe I have. Maybe I have shown you it before. But anyway, so we've had all the panelling done, and we've had it painted in Farron Ball Mizzle. It's lovely. Um, it's almost like a muted sage green feel. Very pastel. It just feels lovely and scandy. It's very echoey in here. But this room is almost getting there now. I just as soon as I've got everything in here, that's when I'll most likely bring the mirrors in and get the mirrors in because then we'll know what we need and and everything else. So get in there in this room. I think that's it actually for house updates for the moment, but I will keep you updated if anything else happens or changes or if we get anything new. Because I know I like I like keeping you all up to date. Um like honestly like doing all of the house the interiors and the house renovations on my channel has been really really enjoyable for me um it's been nice mixing it up and not just doing constant fashion content and everything else because this is just my life now like doing up the house and getting the house ready and it's like the part of my life that i kind of enjoy the most recently like setting up my Alex's home for the future so i'm just so pleased with how much you guys seem to have also enjoyed coming along for kind of seeing us update in the house and everything i think that's what the beauty of vlogging is is that it's just about that person and what they're up to and what they're they're doing in their life you know it's not whilst i am a fashion blogger and that's what i do on the vlog and on the instagram and whatnot i feel like the vlog is that way for you to see a much more personal side to me and it's not just me doing fashion all the time and talking about what i'm putting on my face it's more showing you behind the scenes of my life and i think that's why vlogs are so, so popular and people love them because it's just that reality side of things. And I know there's probably people out there that are like, oh, this girl 
used to be much more fashion and do a lot more fashion on a channel and now it's all about interiors but that's the thing you know like the vlogs are meant to be that much more personal aspect and I think that's why other people enjoy them because it isn't just about commercial stuff it's about like lifestyle and the house and everything so so honestly thank you for all of your support on the house and everything and so many of you follow fro home now which is awesome like i've nearly got a hundred thousand followers on my fro home account now which is super cool never expected that so i'm su super happy that you uh that any of you guys that are following it already are enjoying it so thank you back to the day then so i do have some things to film for my next for my next video and also i just realized that i've forgotten to finish off my last vlog my milan fashion week and london fashion week vlogs i have completely forgotten to film like an end piece to it like it finishes with me going to the versace show and that's kind of it so what i want to do is film a little bit of a rundown of how i felt going to fashion week and you know obviously af after a few months ago i had a bit of a rant about fashion week and how it's kind of this love-hate relationship i almost want to do a bit of an update on that and sort of tell you about how it went and how i felt about it and you know anything just any like little roundups so I need to film that so that I can get this vlog out tonight because that is going out tonight that's the only thing with Sundays is that a lot of people love to have their Sundays off and I I post my video on a Sundays which means that um, either myself or Rebecca my assistant has to be around to press go and push the video live um, and then obviously I need to be on my phone or on the computers to answer some comments because I like to do comments for the first hour or so and then obviously after that I, I always check back every probably every evening I check back and I check the comments again and if anyone's asked me a question I'll try and get back to them so that's kind of the way the way I work it but it just means that Sunday is always a work day because of that, especially in the evening. In fact, I noticed that Lydia recently moved her Sunday upload to a Monday and it's probably a really, really smart idea because then she has her entire weekends off doing nothing, which means, you know, for anyone that does that, you've got a full weekend to rest your mind and then start nice and fresh on a Monday, whereas I never really get to do that. And maybe I should, I feel like maybe I need to maybe move my routine around. But at the same time, I love watching videos on a Sunday. I like getting in the bath. Um, well, after I've put up my video, about like getting in the bath. And I'll watch some videos in the bath. And I'll put a bubble bath in and stuff. So I feel like I don't, for if any of you guys are also like that, I don't want to miss that Sunday upload. But I'd love your opinion on it, actually. If you think that you love the Sunday uploads the most or Thursday or if you prefer a different day, let me know. I'd love your feedback on it. What I do need to do actually potentially today is take some pictures of those bags for Vestiaire so I can upload them. I might do that actually today and get some things uploaded onto my Vestiaire so that by the time you guys see this there'll be things that are ready and ready for sale. I think I'll, I'll probably do that next actually. I think as well I also, I need to clean this room since i had um the floor done in here loads of dust has come up and i've found i've opened some yeah ever since having the floor done i found that i opened up my cupboards and the dust has managed to get under and through like cracks in the cupboard and there's now like dust on things so now i've noticed even my bag shelves are covered in dust so i'm like great my bags are sat on these, so I need to give everything a really, really good clean. I might do that in a minute, actually, put some music on. But for now, I'm going to take some pictures of my bags and get them uploaded onto, onto Vestiaire. Right, I'm going to start with my Fendi. Right, I'm going to put this up, so. Right, so you can do sell an item, women's bags. Done it, done it, done it, done it. I have listed my item. Well, it's being processed currently. This is such a little mismatched day of random things, but that's genuinely, when I have days at home, it's just like doing little things that I haven't done in a while, or tidying up, or cleaning, or washing. That's the way I like it, just very chilled out. I really wanna make a banana bread again, but I think that's because I'm just craving sugar. Do you know, I'm finding it, I'm finding this vlog really difficult to film because it's, I'm trying to show you like everything I'm doing, even the really, really dull mundane things that I'm trying to do. Whereas usually I just wouldn't even bother filming those, but I'm trying to show you like a more realistic day of everything that I'm doing. Let's see, I don't know if I'll be doing one of these again, but. Right, I am gonna, I just wanna clean and tidy this room, to be honest. It is so dusty. Ah, oh, 
I have dusted every shelf again and every surface can now be seen properly. What a mess this is. This is a mess. But this room is now perfect. Not showing you these yet. These are so pretty. I got this as a little gift from Infini. They sent me these um, as a special treat for my closet. And I went for the pink roses. They last about a year, these roses. So I can have them on show for quite some time. And they're just so beautiful in this big box. Anyway, I'm gonna take this downstairs because this I need for my Paris packing. I don't know why I have my suitcase in this room packing. I think I've just got in a habit of bringing my suitcase into this room <laughs> to pack everything. I'm just packing up a few things for Paris. We're heading there on Monday night. This is amazing. It's a kind of like a short length boucle jacket from me and M. And it's in a gorgeous cream. I can't wait to wear that actually. Taking that, I've got loads of little bits and bobs packed in here. And um, yeah, I'm just kind of making a start really on the packing. Ooh, lots and lots more to pack. I'll be doing a lot more of this later, which I'm sure I can kind of show you. Packing, because that's going to be the majority of the day is going to be packing up this suitcase. Sorry, my hair is just, I know I keep playing with it in this video, but it's because it still feels really thick because I've just washed it. Like usually I wash my hair at night and then I sleep on it. And then by the morning, it's really reduced in size and it's flattened itself down a bit, but at the moment it's still really big. So it's kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. How have I got marks on this? I've literally just been cleaning my room and that is it. So annoying. I'm forever washing this top. Right, what am I going to do next? Oh. Right, I'm going to go. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go film these little clips that I need to do for my other videos because I need to get those done. I'm not going to film those on here for you because that would kind of be weird because then you'll see them later. But um, yeah, I'm going to go do that now. Oh, do you know, it has been quite a dull day in the life of me. Somewhat productive though. When I last saw you, I was just about to do some more filming for other videos, which I then did. I went and did. And that took me till about half past five. And then I had to edit the vlog for today and work that all out, upload it. And then by that time it got to seven o'clock and Alex had made dinner. And I've literally, since then, since eating, and me and Alex watched another episode of Sex Education, because that's like our thing, we eat together, we watch that and we chat. Um, literally since then I have just been chatting with Rebecca and checking all the vlog comments. And honestly, that's kind of been it. Like, this is what I was saying about Sundays being work days and me having to always jump on and, and make sure that the videos going ahead okay I can't really just chill on Sundays but then again I really enjoy that and that's why today's been somewhat disjointed and honestly I haven't really done much else other than those bits of work and listing that bag on vest yeah pretty much I will also probably vlog a little bit tomorrow just to kind of show you another sort of average day it's a Monday and that is therefore quite a bit more going on got a few like work calls and things I need to do I need to the post office things like that but now I'm just in my robe I'm gonna get a quick shower and take off my makeup and get in bed Alex is not feeling very well so he wants to get somewhat of an early night although it's like 10 o'clock already now so hopefully we'll get in bed and have a bit of an early night. I will see you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning guys. Um, I am up and about with a lot going on in my mind today. <laughs> I have, I've got like a full photo shoot to do in the house today for an article I am writing for Mind Magazine. It's coming up soon, I'll be able to share it. I absolutely adore Mind Magazine. I was on the cover last year. Oh God, no, the year before that probably. Such a fabulous, really like luxury, beautiful magazine. So um, I'm excited about it. But me and Alex are shooting the whole thing. Quite often for these kind of these kind of things, we're told, oh, we'll send a photographer to come and help. And it's like, we don't really need it because Alex is pretty great. I just believe in him a lot. So I'm very proud of Alex and his, his skills with photography. So quite often it's easy just for us to kind of produce everything ourselves. I almost want to start my own production, like my, get my own production team because I feel like we do it pretty well. Um, and it makes it really fun because then we can just kind of do our own thing and have our own creative. So that's what we're doing this morning and I'm shooting all around the house. So I'm in panic mode trying to clean and tidy everything to make it look nice like I've just been doing the bed um, I've been cleaning up my closet also it's kind of difficult because a few rooms aren't finished yet like my closet isn't finished anywhere near 
there's a lot more I want to put in there so it's a bit of a shame but I've sort of said to Astrid from my magazine like next year we can do like a follow-up of like what's happened in the house since <laughs> because a lot is going to be changing but still it's just going to be quite a big photo shoot because it's all around the house lots of different outfits and I have a couple of calls to take today and then I need to get the rest of everything packed for our trip and then get to the Eurostar so it's it's just a bit of a, a mad one uh, luckily Alex went out this morning and bought coffees I love him to bits for it that is just amazing of him so at least I've got a coffee but it's just all go 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 today so <sighs> gonna get on with that and I'll, I'll try and include as much as I can this is very much um, a work day but from home which is nice <laughs> Just checking in. We are kind of halfway through the shoot. I've been filming in, filming? I've been shooting in here, my beautiful bedroom. I just made sure it's all nice and tidy and neat. I was gonna shoot in the ensuite, but I'm thinking against it. I'm just gonna do all the rooms. So I've been, so far I've shot in the closet and in the office and then in, just in the bedroom. So we're now gonna do the kitchen, the orange tree and then the lounge and then potentially maybe one in the gym as well, we'll see. I'm excited for this, the, the pictures look really, really nice. I'm just gonna change in outfits in between to kind of give a feel of the kind of things I would wear in these spaces, I suppose. It is so nice to have such a clean and tidy house. Not so much here, but then also, dining room looking fabulous. We've just finished up the shoot. So we just shot like six different rooms, a few different outfits, and I'm hoping that Astrid from my magazine likes them because obviously we're doing this all ourselves. So I'm quite excited to see them though actually when they're all done. We're probably just gonna edit them all on the Eurostar. Um, and I'm gonna write my article as well because I'm writing the whole thing, the whole article just about like my interiors journey and how I've kind of transitioned from like fashion beauty blogger into interiors blogger suddenly. So look out for that article. I'll obviously be storing it and putting it everywhere on um, on my stories when it comes out. I have 15 minutes before I need to take a, an important phone call, so I'm gonna quickly take 15 minutes to try and pack my bag very, very fast. So we finished all the shooting, I've done another call today, and then I've just literally just been packing my suitcase ready for Paris, and it's taken me hours, because I'm trying to think about what shows I need to go to, just in case the outfits don't suit me or don't fit me, I always like to take extra choices just in case so i've kind of been whipping around my closet like scarf gloves extra shoes extra boots extra jacket so i'm hoping i'm hoping i've got a good selection of bits and bobs to wear for the different shows and the different parties that i'm going to i think now we're completely ready to go so i will end this vlog here because this is kind of the start of the next vlog yeah i hope you've enjoyed kind of seeing a little bit more of a insight into things that i do day to day like i said i've kind of cut out a few boring bits and maybe i should have left them in so maybe i'll try and be a little bit more thorough next time but hopefully you enjoyed this anyway just having a few little home updates seeing what i'm usually up to when I'm in the house. Sometimes it's a lot more boring than this, so at least you've not seen a day where I do nothing. Anyway, I will love you and leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.